Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. As you might tell by the title of this video, I am bringing you guys another vlog. But this time I'll be indoors with you guys since you know about this um, coronavirus that is attacking every part of the world. Um, thank goodness in my province we don't have any reported cases yet. So just to stay safe for myself and for everyone else, I stay home. The only time I am out is actually when I go to work or have to buy my basics like bread and milk. So yeah, as you guys might know, I work in a hospital, so I feel like I'm at more risk, but yeah, we're taking good care of ourselves. Right now, I received a package from um, Clicks. I think it is vitamins. It has to be vitamins because I bought vitamins last week. They were flying off the shelf, especially vitamin C. I never got vitamin C. But thank goodness I'm on iron supplements. So they do have some vitamin C and it is sort of like an immune booster. I'm kind of safe. So yeah, I'm just going to unbox the Clix box, my vitamins. I just want to show you guys what vitamins I'm using while I quarantine. I'm just expecting new furniture for my bedroom. Um, I bought two side tables for my bedroom. So my side tables will come and then, yeah, I'll just show you how I style them. And I'm basically doing a little makeover for my bedroom. Nothing major. I'm just going to style my side tables, style my dressing table and change my bedding because um, I change it every two weeks. I don't know if I'm keeping it for too long. Guys, just comment down below how long you keep your bedding for so that we know if we're on the same page. I'm rambling again, but anyway, you guys can see my bed over there. And also, I'm going to show you the bedding that I got, the new bedding. I'm tired of bedding that has got prints and flowers, so I just opted for something plain. Actually, let me just show you what it looks like before when I haven't done anything to it yet. And then I'll show you an after. And then we're going to unbox everything else. I bought some perfume I think um, a day or two ago let me just open them and then I'll show you guys just now because I'm having trouble opening these boxes basically my camera went off so I'm using my phone to put up Mills. Guys, perfume is expensive. I don't see myself buying a 50 ml or 100 ml. And oh, this one comes in a nice cute bag. I'm gonna keep this to decorate. I'm gonna definitely keep this to decorate. This is a Coco Metamoiselle Chanel Paris Eau de Perfume Intense. Oh, the packaging is so nice. These are basically the perfume. Please, please don't mind my bedroom. It's a mess. I haven't um, sorted my stuff out. Um, my helper hasn't cleaned my bedroom as yet. But I'm just going to show you how it looks. And then I'm going to step out for a moment while we wait for the side tables. They said they're going to deliver them at around 9 and, 10, 9 and 11. So I'm still waiting for that. It's currently... It's actually 11. Wow, time flies. But anyway, I'm going to show you around my bedroom. And then we're going to do some unboxing. So yeah, so basically this is my door. That's where my mirror is. I don't like that mirror. I might get a huge mirror that I'm gonna place on the other side of my bed. I'll show you. And this is basically my dresser. Very plain and there's really nothing going on there. So I'm going to be styling that. And this is a chair that I got from Deco Fern, as you might have seen in my other vlog. I hate these towels. If we do get another place to rent, we might move out just because of these towels. I hate them so much. And then this here is a heater and a fan. I'm going to get rid of that, put it in the spare bedroom. This is where I put all my handbags and shoes and whatever. I'm going to declutter that. I need to remove basically everything and then redo it. But you'll see when I redo it. That's my cupboards. When we go to that side, I've got my my side of the bed it is a mess over there so basically this over here 
um, came off when we were moving we had to tape the whole um, thing so that the drawers don't come out we were too lazy to take them all out so when we removed the tape that's what happened so yeah I hate how it looks I hate my side lamps I bought new ones which I'll be unboxing over there I've got my speaker that I used at my res there's my candle that I used to pray every night that's my box for my glasses my ring light i'm gonna declutter that space and the mirror that i told you about from the door i might put a new one here i want a, a luxury kind of mirror that i'm gonna put in the corner there and i might put those fluffy rugs over there just a small one and i need to sort my plus out over there that's where i charge and that's a headboard that i got from robert johnson's home or something i also hate my bedding because it is too busy this is what i was talking about i hate it so I'm going to put new bedding and this will be for the visitor's bedroom for now. That's my bed. It's just a queen size bed. And that's my husband's side of the bed. And I'm also going to remove that and basically style it from the beginning. And then over there I've got my light. I'm going to check it at Mr. Price once this um, coronavirus thing is over. If I can't get a chandelier that I'm going to just hang over there. There's these ones that I saw you just clip them on. So that's what I'm going to do and basically all for this bedroom um, I'll be doing everything with you guys so just stay tuned so this guy got here at like 5 past 11 these are the side tables I'll show you once they are in the bedroom he was not bad date and this is the package on each side like on either side this side and on the other side but you'll see how it's gonna look so that's what I'm gonna do but I'm not gonna do it today so you guys will see the whole process when I put in the mirrors and the pictures and decorating but for now I'm just gonna put the side tables and then I'm gonna decorate the top I'm gonna change the bedding and yeah box the box that I told you guys about the one from clicks with all my vitamins so these are the stuff that I got it's two stuff for my daughter I got her some gummy bites they've got lots of vitamin C she was usually using were immune boosters but these ones are enriched with um, vitamin C the Centrum kids if you know Centrum you know it's the leading foot it's the leading vitamin um, brand in South Africa so this I got for my daughter and then for me you do know that you need like garlic in your life it's very really healthy it's it's just got lots of health benefits so i got these ones from vital supports immune health and healthy blood circulation i've got iron deficiency so this will also help me um i'm not a doctor or i'm not supposed to be giving people advice on medicines to take but these are just my per personal preferences of what i like since this coronavirus is taking a toll on us so i think it's just important to keep your immune system strong they can fight whatever comes to it i've seen people are buying sanitizers and stuff but guys what is sanitizer if you aren't eating healthy if you aren't taking your vitamins but if your immune system is strong it's not easy for you to get all kinds of diseases and sicknesses so that's what i did and then i also got um daily supplements these are multivitamins and minerals bs24 and i also got myself um centrum it's also an a to bank i'm going to take this with my husband i'm going to do a little haul from Mr. Price and at home basically stuff to decorate my room I want to start with stuff from at home I got these um, cushions please don't mind my underarms everything at, at home cost us sure it was a lot but no actually these I bought myself my husband bought the other stuff but these I bought myself they cost me 3632 very expensive but worth it i'm tired of buying things from like i'm not gonna mention stores but things that don't last me that only last me about like five washes and they're not good anymore so i got this cushion here this pink dusty pink one 
I got two of these. I think one of these were $2.99. Actually, yes, they were $2.99. I got another one, $2.99. These are the ones that I'm going to use today. So we will see how I do that. I also got this a du duvet cover set. It's Egyptian cotton. Um, a 230 thread count. I would have loved 400 thread count, but they did not have. And these were like I had 25% off. I think I bought them for 750. The original price is 1,049. It's just a grey um, duvet cover set. It's that color. And then I also got navy blue because my husband's always complaining that we always have pink. So I bought navy blue. I don't know if it's gonna match with my headboard, but anyway, I bought this. This was about let me see. This velvet round navy cushion was 490 rands and 38 cents. Very pricey, but I'm not gonna have to buy these again, so it's worth it. I also bought a blue, but it's that kind of blue thing, one. Yeah? It's also a duvet cover set. It's 180 thread count polyester and cotton. Um, it's a velvety touch. I just like the way it is so velvet. I prefer cotton for my bedding, but this was just so nice. I felt like it's going to be my statement um, piece, if I can call it that, for my bedroom. And this was 1,219 grams. It says here it's green. No, it's velvet deep teal. So it's teal. This color is teal. But anyway, that's what I also got. So I think I'm done with at home. That I bought like a week ago. And I haven't opened it, so I just saved it for this vlog. And then, oh, I got this as well. I don't know what it's called. I already opened it because I was taking my pictures for aesthetics for my Instagram. So that's why I got this one. I'm going to use it when I um, put my blue um bedding and then it's gonna be blue, blue and white as I was saying so I'm gonna use this as well I think this was about 500 friends I'll check and then um, a few days after I bought this stuff I um, decided to buy some side table some side tables and then um, my husband just said we should buy some lamps I didn't have money so he decided he's gonna buy them we were supposed to go to a surprise home and I saw ones that I liked but then he complained that we always changing our side um, lamps all the time because um, I'm never satisfied I like them for a few months and then after I don't like them so I would rather go for something like very expensive um, quality I'm not saying Mr. Price doesn't have quality I'm a Mr. Price home kind of girl I love Mr. Price home I'm not saying anything is bad about their stuff yeah I just took these from at home because they sort of like timeless they're not in trend one time and then out of trend the next so I'm gonna show you which one we got that big box is the same lamp this one was on display and that one was in the bag in the storage so i just took the display because they only had one in the bag so i just took it in there this is how the lamps look i hope you guys can see these are these were a thousand grams one thousand grams and then this because the lamp shape had a bit of a dent they said they'd give us like a 10 percent discount so they gave me a 10% discount and I paid 900, we paid 900 rands for one of these and the other one was 1,000 rand. And then, I don't think I'm gonna use these lamp shades. I don't really like them. I like the ones that are sort of like just round. They don't have a comb shape. So this is what the lamp shade looks like. It's white. I wish it was cream, so I might get a cream one. So I also got it from at home. And then what we got, from Mr. Price, I got I got this candle for my side of the bed. Um, it's 49 grams, 99 cents from Mr. Price, and the flavor, in the fragrance, sugar bush, and it's got a 60 hour burn time. This smells good. It's not so like strong, but it smells good. I don't mind it. And then I got myself this also. We don't want to go too dramatic on Bay's side because. He's a guy and he feels like he doesn't want it to be too busy. I like busy stuff, so I bought a few things which I'll also show you. This was 159.99. I'll show you what it is. It is a lantern, so I'm gonna put my candle in there, but you'll see how I'll call it. So it's basically this glass thing, and then this stands in there. So that's basically how it looks. This was 159.99 cents. So this is what we got. We got it for both of us because he's got watches that he'd like to store in here. He's got a storage, um, a watch storage thing. <laughs> I love this. 
um, a watch storage thing but then so he'd like to keep them in here it's gonna be more convenient so I just suggested he gets this and then this is what we decided to get for his side it's just like a globe it's very nice it's very stylish it's 139 grams 99 cents so that's what we're gonna put on his side so I bought the base cover that is gray so when I put my gray bedding the base cover will be gray so I bought it from it's a textured one it it feels velvety and it was 280 rand for a queen size textured bed wrap so this is what it looks like you'll see it once I put it on and I think that is all that I got So it fit nicely, it's not as tight as I'd like it to be but I'm not complaining, it's not bad. So yeah, that's basically how it looks, I'm just going to do the bed now. Guys, it is cloudy, hence everything is just so gloomy and dark. Much better! I've never really made a bed before, like classy bed type of thing. I always just do it basic, like it's always a basic way of doing a bed. So I'm struggling a bit. I might remove those Euro continental pillows and just use the ones that I, my pink scatter cushions because they're quite big. And I don't know, so let's just see. So basically, um, this is how the bed looks. Just don't mind the mess. That's my base cover. That's my bedding. It's Egyptian sheets. They are so smooth. That's basically some of the details. This is a flower box that I made myself and one of the candles that I was telling you about in my current favorites. That's how the bed looks up there with the pillows, the headboard, and there's literally nothing on the walls as yet. I'm just gonna get the mirrors first. So let me go up close so i used these um throws from mr price home i bought them a while back and then this i actually put them in there and then i then i just um flipped the duvet cover over it just to sort of like make it gray pink and gray i don't know if you know what i mean and then this is what i did with the pillows um gray continental those cushions the pink ones some gray pillows um these I always had and I used them with my colorful gray and pink bedding but yeah I'm just going to use them here because I felt like it was too plain with just one, two and three without these ones. So that's what I did and this is how it looks. I like how my sheets, um, I don't mind my sheets showing because they match and that I took the base cover I took in a charcoal gray because I felt it matches better and basically that's how it looks. I really like this tray over here. Obviously, I'm going to remove it. It's just for the aesthetics. And yeah, I'm actually happy with how it turned out. So basically that's how my side table looks, it's just the lamp, um, 
two of my favorite books um, this small vase with some flowers and a candle a lantern with a candle in there I actually don't know what else I should put there but I think this is okay hey y'all so now we're moving over to um, this side So this is my husband's side of the bed, basically it's just the globe that I just showed you, it's that jewelry box, it's the lamp and yeah basically that's it. Hi once again, so basically this is how uh, my dressing table looks, I'm going to show you the before of my dressing table, I think I did but I'll show you again and before I actually make it look good so I'm going to do that for you now. And basically, yeah. The first item that I'm going to put is this orchid that I got from the full, the full one, the full orchid that I got from at home. And then this I made myself. I just printed a Coco Chanel um, thing in there, and then I framed it in a gold frame. Okay, I think I'm done styling my dressing table. I'm just gonna put the chair there and then I'll show you the final product. So yeah, stay tuned. So basically this is how we're looking. It's your chair from Deco Fern, it's your fur hide from at home, it's a small mirror from um, this can. Um, scented candle, I showed it on my vlog from Clicks that I made myself I also have a video on how I made that and this Coco Chanel I printed a Coco Chanel picture and I framed it in a gold frame that's the jewelry box that's a vase with some makeup brushes the rose gold ones that's a tray I don't know if I should call it a tray with my perfume and that is the orchid from at home the mirror from Thailand Co and the dressing table from at home so basically this is how it looks this is the area that I want to tackle now I'm going to remove those wig heads I hate them most bags need to go and this needs to be an order I'm going to take the heater and the fan away to the guest bedroom or the garage I'll see so we're gonna get into this part now Um, I think we have reached the end of this part of the vlog where I style and do a mini makeover of my bedroom so now I'm just going to show you the overall appearance of how it looks and there's an echo showing that there is space now it's not like how it used to be in the beginning I'm really proud of what I have done I just need some mirrors over there and over there and a few pictures maybe three pictures over there just to make it look more homely and feel more homely so i'm just going to show you the overall bedroom and what i have done so far so we're going to start off with this side this is basically my sign table i've put the candle on and the details of this these are the details some books my perfume my lamp i can't put that on because i don't have the correct bulbs Moving back, that's how it looks from far. We're moving over to the bed, that's how the bed looks. 
currently just moved in flowers that were there the the flower box that was there and I replaced it with a lantern and a candle that was there this is just for aesthetics I'm gonna remove it there's a tray there for for um, thingy there <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say and that's how it looks the jewelry box, the lamp which doesn't go on, the side table, that's the bed from this side and this is how it looked from the end of the bed. Moving over to this side, the dressing table, that's basically how it looks. I won't go into details because I did go through that with you. On this side is this bookshelf where I display my designer boxes, my hair, my handbags, and yeah, etc. Guys, that is it for today. I hope you really liked how I styled my bedroom. Feel free to comment down below. I'm really loving it. It feels so homely. It feels beautiful, luxurious. It's not that luxurious, but I like it. So yeah, I'm done for the day. I'm gonna go have something to eat. I'm starving now. I haven't had food in a long time. Don't know when last I ate. So I'm gonna go do that and then we'll close it off here for today. Please don't mind that. We'll close it off here for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is Sunday morning now. Um, I just woke up. So I'm gonna start the day before I waste too much of it. So yeah. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you again in another one. Bye.